Hey, this is Mike at Wildfile. We published a story that I'm glad we published because I've been working on it for about a year and a half. The story is all about cheatgrass, which is a non-native annual grass that is spreading all across the state of Wyoming. There are other parts of the Mountain West where cheatgrass has kind of already taken over where the fight has largely been lost. I'm thinking of areas in like southern Idaho, northern Nevada, eastern Oregon. And there are portions of Wyoming that fall into that bucket, but by and large, we have been successful at preventing cheatgrass from completely overtaking Wyoming landscapes. But there's kind of a fight to like hold it back. The short of it is that so far, the resources that we have at our disposal, uh, herbicide funds it takes to spray that herbicide are just inadequate. And so cheatgrass is just kind of closing in. And importantly, it's closing in on what is really the best sagebrush that, that is left on the planet. And so I really dug into this issue. I pretty early on did an interview with a scientist who referred to cheatgrass as the most sweeping existential threat to Western ecosystems. And we put that in the headline just from the reporting I did in the last year. It became very apparent to me that it is truly a dire situation, a really grave threat. You could even make an argument that the future of mule deer hunting might hinge more on cheatgrass than anything else. It could just transform a lot of Western landscapes. I won't go into all the details on that because they are all in the story, but I really hope you give it a read. I really think it's important. Thanks for listening.